Okay guys, so this is a drill that we uh, created that I thought it was kind of a fun, playful exercise for developing a passive response for, towards leg defenses. And the idea is we have this bubble machine and you're not trying to catch all the bubbles, but you're trying to catch all the big ones, right? And so you have to be accurately looking at the bubbles, trying to focus your energy on that. And then passively in the back of your mind, you're thinking about leg defense. You're periodically whacking each other in the knee so that you start thinking about defending with a peripheral and passive defense. Now we use a lot of step backs. I don't like to check. Um, personally, I like using step back attacks, but this is a really great drill for focusing your mind on one task and letting yourself passively defend the leg kicks. And you're gonna see how we're gonna translate this in a minute into another sparring drill. But the idea is basically just use your left hand, catch as many of the big bubbles, not all of them, and don't just kind of like wildly swat at it. Like really try to catch them and be focused on that so that in the background now you're working on this task. So now you're gonna see how we take this and we translate it into some sparring. And what's interesting is that while with the bubbles, you tend to have most of your energy actively focused on the bubbles while passively defending the leg kicks, which is really how it should be because when you're sparring, you should be actively thinking about whatever you're doing and then like leg kicks as they occur, it, it should just be a background process, like an operating system, something that you just naturally respond to unless you're doing some sort of a proactive counter setup. Um, here you can see we're just playing with and it becomes the opposite where we tended to be a little bit more focused on the leg kicks and the boxing became the passive thing in this drill. As in this drill, all you're allowed to do is do light, light boxing and uh, some leg kicks. So we're just kind of going super light, focusing on doing some leg kick. Leg kick, leg kick defense is really the purpose of this drill. It's not really a boxing drill. This is really just um, trying to set up responses and play with different types of leg defenses and just moving around a little bit. But I, I did think it was interesting how uh, the bubbles drill actually felt harder to do because so much of your energy is on trying to catch the individual bubbles that the leg kicks became something that you had to be very like on the spot with your responses with it. Whereas this, it was a little bit easier to be proactive in everything you did because it felt like, you know, normal sparring and you were allowed to divert your energy a little bit more rather than spend all your energy on just the bubbles. Um, but you can see here how this, this type of playfulness in our uh, activities lends itself really well. And that bubble drill is really great for things like developing footwork as well, uh, shadowing movement, things like that. So it becomes a nice activity uh, and a reflex drill as far as like quickly finding openings and catching up. So there's a lot of really great stuff that occurred in this drill. And this is the type of stuff I really like for drills. It's fun and that playful activity lends itself really well for a skill development. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy this, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure you share with your friends.